Hey folks, welcome back to the Talos Principle 2 and the Western Delta where we're working here on puzzle number three. This has reset actually, so let's see if I can figure out. Last time I was stuck on this puzzle, couldn't quite figure it out. Let's see if I can make a change. Let's go ahead and start like this. Now, the naive solution doesn't work. Or no, it it does it does open the solution gate, but then we can't get over there. So, we need kind of a way to get the I think what we need to do is get this inverter inside here so that we can so that we can source from that blue inverter right there and turn it into red to open the puzzle solution and then also send blue through this gate but then actually that doesn't make sense either because no then we would have then we would have the other thing here yeah if we had the connector here we could open the blue gate if we had the inverter here we could open the red gate through that So what am I missing? The problem is opening this. Yeah, the problem is opening this gate. And it feels like... It feels like I need a, a third connector to do it. I don't see a way to open both of these and move something through is the problem. I mean, I guess we can do this. No, that doesn't work. We can do this to get in there. We can't really open... We can't really open the red gate unless we have red light on this side of this wall. Is there a way to go up or... Problem is we need the connector on... <clears throat> it feels like we need the connector on both sides. I don't see a way to... I don't see a way to open both of those gates and the third gate. Unless we could get the inverter through this gate, which we can't do because we need the inverter on the other side to open things, or do we? Is there a way... It feels like I'm, supp it feels like I'm supposed to somehow use this but I don't see how to use it. Like, let's say... We can get the, we can get the cart over here. That's not a problem. The servitor. We can get the servitor over here, but then, then how do I, how do I manipulate things so that there's only one way to get a source of red light, and if this is traveling on here, it gets cut off from the blue light. It also can't power itself, or rather, it can't power the servitor. So, like. I can connect this like this. And we can send... We can source from there to there. And start sending it back. But as soon as that blue light gets cut off, which is right at that edge, the whole plan fails. Just like that. 
so what am I missing? I can make my way through here. There's like, there's no way, I guess, I guess if I could get, if I could get the connector, no, nope, I can't get the connector past the purple gate. So it's gotta go, it's gotta go through here somehow, but I just don't see it. Hmm. There's gotta be some trick I'm missing. I mean, I could try to, I could try to fire a beam from another puzzle. That's usually not the solution for these standard puzzles though. They usually have an internally coherent logic. This says automatic doors. Yeah, and this door keeps closing right when I need it to be open. Blue won't push a red servitor. And I can't grab this and pull it through from the other side. It doesn't work that way. It forces me past the blue gate. Let's add a connection there. There's no angle where we can see the solution receiver over there unless this comes through. So we can open the gate or we, we can open that gate or we can open the solution gate, but we can't open them both at the same time. And if I come through here, I can't get over this to go to the to go to the solution. I can't jump off of this. It's too close. I suppose I should double check that. Is there anywhere else I can jump up to? There's a little bit of a No, there's a I was going to say there's a little bit of an incline there, but I can I cannot jump on the emitter to get any height. And like, interrupting the beam doesn't do anything for me. Maybe there's something there. Maybe there's something with interrupting a beam with my body. There's no way to open this gate and power the servitor while the inverter is on it, as far as I can see. We can get the servitor or the connector through to the other side. What we can't seem to do is get the inverter through to this side. Like I could maybe see the blue light from here. And then what? There's no angle on the red receiver that we could hit it from without getting this inverter through. <clears throat> while while the while this is here to open that blue gate man this one this one uh, i don't see it i've been i spent a few minutes on it last episode still working on it today and just not getting whatever the trick is um I would love to figure out a way to have this move. Now I can sort of do that. Let me reset these. If I pull this directly from the source, can I also power it from here and have that work? Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What if I pull from this and that as sources first? No, it doesn't act that way. So what I need is something like that. 
to push it through, but as soon as it as soon as it gets to this edge, it loses its blue light source. And we can't have it power itself. Let me send the servitor through one more time. Can, oh wait, can I hop up on this wall from here? If it's right in the middle, maybe I can hop up here and do something. Hold on. That's an interesting idea. What happens to it if it stops right in the middle? Let's find out. So if it stops right in the middle, it probably gets pushed to one side or the other. Yeah, so that that's probably as close as it can be. Let me see if this does anything for me. It almost looks like I'm meant to jump here, but it's not. It's a little bit too high. Can't source the blue light from this side. Yeah, there's no way to get this through. I mean, there has to be a way. I just don't see what it is. So, if we grab the... L uh, I have to have this stationary in order to get the red light inverted so that I can open this gate to pass anything through to the other side. But we need it moving through to the other side is the problem. There's no way to bounce a beam or... I need another connector. What about all the way over here? I don't think I can jump up to that wall. So... Is there something with... Is there something with interrupting one beam for the other? Like, maybe I can change the way it behaves. Bounce off of that and then back away. Uh, man, this one has me stumped, guys. This might be this whole episode. It's just me toying at this puzzle. I'm pretty sure I can't make this jump. Yeah, that's not going to happen. We've done a bunch of different configurations here. All right, let's go back to the partial solution, right? So if I grab this light here... And then... Yeah, again, I can't I can't get through here. Is there anything I can do from out here? I don't have a tool, I don't have a connector. I can interrupt the beam temporarily, but what does that buy me? Like let's say I grab this and do this, something like this, right? Now I can come over here. I can interrupt this beam. Then that works. Something like that? Something where I'm trying to interrupt one beam for the other? Well, now I can go through here.
What got interrupted there? Did it interrupt its own beam? Yeah, it interrupted this second beam here. Bounced off and then came back. But we can't we can't get red light over here. I can't like use this to redirect a beam. It's not a connector or an inverter. The key is it's called the puzzle's called automatic doors. So it's constantly opening and closing like automatic doors at a supermarket, but then what? I take this, everything still works. I can take the red over here and then aim it over there and plop that on there. So that that opens and then closes. As does this one. But we still can't get in the blue door. We still can't get through here to the other side. So... Is there a way to change how this works as it moves? So that like when it's on this side, it somehow spits the blue beam over there? It can't, it can't be connected to two beams at the same time. Can we change how it works so that it, when it's on this side, hold on, maybe we can. Let's see. When it's on this side, it does that. It does that, maybe? Oh, is it changing? So when it gets cut off, oh, that is the solution. That's insane. So that's a way to use one connector with two different light types. Gosh, that's horrifying. I, that is, insanely hard to figure out, I think. There we go. Okay, that's the solution. Gosh! That is not easy to figure out at all. You, it's, it's, a, it's so weird to use one connector for two colors. Okay, there's the solution. 18 minutes in. Uh, thank you for bearing with me as I discovered how that worked. That one was tough. Tell me, Yakut. What impact do you think the megastructure will have on the future of this island? It depends on what we do with it. Miranda used it to spread life, to make things better. We can do the same. And yet poor Miranda lost her own life doing so. She just made a mistake. She couldn't wait to show everyone what they discovered. We can be more careful. Agreed, Yakut. Very much agreed. All right, so I'm looking around for either buttons or pillars around each of the puzzles. That's for the star puzzle that we haven't solved yet. What is that over there? That is puzzle two. We've got a flying deer, a floating deer, on top of another deer. There's a lot of deer here. Some of them have magical powers. It's a mystical forest, guys. Uh, let's head to puzzle four, and hopefully it won't be quite as mind-bending Bendling. It, hopefully it won't be quite as mind-bending as Automatic Doors was. Alright, let's take a quick gander around the outside for buttons or pillars here. Buttons or pillars. The pillars were kind of nearby to the puzzle. They weren't really directly outside it, so I'm just kind of like... Like, that island over there looks promising. Hold on. This little hummock of land maybe has something in it? Oh, this this was the lab. We've already been in there. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything, so we'll go inside and solve it, hopefully. All right, this one's called Surfing. So we have a potential fan there. We've got a connector, a pressure plate, 
red light emitter. Blue gate here. Blue gate there. Obviously, we have a light source. Let's pop it on the two blue gates and see what we get. Maybe even over on that one as well. I don't know. Let's let's see what happens. Hmm. This does not do anything. We have... I guess we can get something like this going. No, it's... Even if we put it at the back wall, it's not going to be able to get over that gap. That is right at the edge, but not it's not going to be able to do it. Uh, let's move this guy, I guess. Okay. Now, he, oh, that's interesting. He actually serves as a plate. Now, can I get this light? No, it's not quite right. So we need to move it back now. Before it hits the, the plate. We're gonna have to let it do something like that. Okay. We can get in here at the very least. All right, that gives us this, which will let us get the other gate open. I think we learned something important there, seeing that the, the servitor can act on the pressure plate. Uh, okay, so we need, it on, we need it on the pressure plate and then we do that. That gets us in here and a second connector, as well as the fan. So, yeah, now we just need to get blue light into that gate, which I think we can do by lifting this thing into the sky. Let's go ahead and connect this to the gate, as well as this gate. And the blue light. Where's the blue light? Right there. Uh, we'll pop this on here. Yes, I think so. I'm not sure what the block is for. But we'll move this back over there to the fan and see what happens. So up it goes. Okay. Now, if we remove this, it's we're fine because we can just do this, right? And then we put the block on here to... There we go. That's the solution. That one was easy. Okay. Not too bad. After number three, I was worried. I was like, whatever's going on here, there's they're, they're ramping up the difficulty. Okay. Thank you, Alcatraz. Uh, we have some new interface content available. Let's take a look at that. Yakut says bootstrapping. If what Prometheus revealed about the theory of everything is true, then it explains a lot of the patterns I've been finding. Almost every artificial structure on this island was printed into existence in some kind of energy to matter process, or maybe by different versions of that process, some earlier and less effective. And I can only assume that the megastructure itself was created by bootstrapping, having one machine make a bigger one. Which probably means you could create a relatively small device that turns itself into a complete megastructure. Or you could make a machine that just deploys more and more of itself and builds something. A city in a box? Depends on the power source, I guess. Alcatraz has a comment here on sincerity, a text string extracted from a data stream. I managed to extract the following text string. I'm always struck by the degree to which our ancestors, in the years before the end, struggled with sincerity. They became poisoned with irony, unable to parse any information through anything except a thick layer of alienation. 
This left so little space for any kind of intellectual authenticity that they seemed to exist in a state of permanent agony. Ironically, that in turn made them extremely susceptible to the few sanctioned forms of sincerity, which acted as a means of social control. Then there's a gap followed by, there's something equally damaged in our own estrangement from our humanity. We mimic the forms and behaviors of our human ancestors, but we don't act like proud inheritors of the human condition. Everything we do gets filtered through this perpetual awareness of their shortcomings, to the degree that we act as if our existence was one of their failures. Author unknown. Whoever it is, I understand what they mean, but disagree with their conclusion. This perpetual awareness isn't a form of alienation. It's a way of learning from the mistakes of our species. Unpleasant, but necessary. Hmm. I agree that the absence of sincerity from the public square is both depressing and dangerous, I think, in our society. I think there are too few people who are honest and say what they mean without thinking about manipulating others, at least in the public square. In the age of the internet, the loudest voices are the angriest, the least sincere, the most cynical. In fact, many of them are not even real. They're paid to voice the opinions of those who feel that way. I do think we need more sincerity in public life. Anyway, let's head out. We've done four puzzles, so we should probably do one of the lost puzzles next. Let's see, we've found two of them. There's one over here. All right, let's go this way and see if we can solve it. And then we'll head to five, six, seven, eight. And hopefully we can find a, we can get a lead on the, uh, the star puzzle. There's gotta be some buttons or columns somewhere or something else that shapes itself into a pattern that way. Let me take a look around the outside here. Any switches or buttons here? No, okay. I don't think we can cross the river, so there's probably nothing out there. That's the tower. Okay, I don't think we're gonna find what we're looking for here. Little garden of columns? No. So let's go solve the puzzle, shall we? All right, this one is called Jailbreak, okay? So we start with a red light emitter. Okay, a gate opened by a pressure plate, a red light receiver, which presumably opens this gate, and the end of a path. Which, if it was here, we could hop up on the servitor and up to the solution. Okay, I think I see what we're doing here. So, we need to power the servitor, which is locked to this connector, which we can't alter. That's fine. Let's go ahead and start. So, step one. Step one is going to be to open this gate. And then from there, power the servitor. So through he goes, right? Once past the gate, we snatch this up. Uh, oh, I see. Without this open, we can't continue to... Well, no, we could continue to power it. We just move it up, right? Or can we? No, we can't. It's going to get blocked by... Well, would it? Let's see. Yeah, it would get blocked. So we do need to send power that way. And that means we need to keep this open, huh? We can get part way through. And then... This guy would have to carry the blue with him, wouldn't he? 
actually on the servitor. Like that. That'll get us through that gate. Then he should open this himself. What happened? We lost... We lost the blue. Uh, how would... How would this work? I guess I can come stand here. No. What am I missing? Um... He can't power the blue. Oh, he can't power the blue, but we can take the... We can take this now. And repower it for him from over here somehow. Uh... That beam's gonna get in the way, though. How would we do this? We'd have to come back here and try something like that. No, that's not gonna work. This needs to be... Hmm, this one's tricky. Because this needs some height to get that blue light. How did it get interrupted? It got interrupted by the... this... this, like... rock. So it could no longer keep the blue gate open, huh? Yeah, that's a problem. Uh... let's see... Is there any other light source in here? There's not, right? So what can we do? We can power we can power the red the servitor directly like that and keep it moving. Now why did it why did it reverse? Oh, because okay, so I have to come stand on the on the pressure plate to help it. There we go. Okay. Uh, am I trapped in here? I am. Hold on. I need to go get the other one to let myself out, don't I? Yikes. So you're done. We're done with you. For now. And then I'm gonna be trapped in here with it. So I think I just have to... Oh, hold on. So I can do that and keep it moving. Up to there. Now... Let me think about this. Can I extricate you now? Can I jailbreak you? No, because as soon as I pick you up, that closes. Alright. Um... Okay. I... I have a small interruption. I'm gonna be right back. Alright, we're back. Small, real-world interruption there, but, uh, where was I? So... We've trapped one of our connectors in there. Don't see a way to get it out. We can... I think we... Do we leave it connected? I don't... know. Maybe. Because we need red light to push it forward. So maybe we do leave it connected, because then... We could do something like this... To keep pushing it forward. And we can come stand here. Let it go through. Push us off, or... Okay, that's fine. Now, why isn't that... Was that connected to blue? There we go. That's pushing that forward. Okay, so that then becomes useless. Now we need red here. And 
And I guess we connect it like this and like that and just kind of set it there. That's not going to work. We set it here for now or here. That'll push it to a degree. Uh, we can put it here. Yeah, we can put it here. And then stand on the... On the pressure plate to open the thing? Okay. That gets us only so far, though. That last gate's gonna be a problem. Because we need to power... The gate... Oh boy. Um, if we send... Now hold on. This guy... Let's take this guy. Let's connect him to that. Yeah, we've got we've to have him here to get out. And then... And then what? Can I actually jump over that? I can. We need to hit the gate, and we need to hit that other light. So, like, we come over here and go like this. Does this work? No. Is there any chance this guy can see the gate, too? So, like, we do something like this. And then crank this. No, that's not going to work. This last part is the key to the whole puzzle. I can't just hit it directly, right? It's going to get blocked by... Yeah, it's blocked by that. I could put this... I could put this on here. Like this and open the gate. I think. Yeah. Oh, and then we we source the light from from the other one. Okay, hold on. Now you can see both the source and the destination, right? Cuz you can go source and destination like that, and then all we got to do is hit the button. Okay. Well, you're going the wrong way, but all right. Oh, damn. It's going the wrong way. Uh, so I got to what? Reset this now? I need it going the other way, and then I have to set that up again. So bounce, return. Yikes. Okay, bounce, and now you're moving the right way. So now, we're gonna grab you and you, and put you on top. And then we're going to reset you to go from there to there to power it. And then we got to go hit this switch. What happened? What happened? Uh, all right. We need a little bit of a change here to get you to keep moving. A little bit further. Okay. Then we go, then we go here to get you a little bit further. I need you past this chunk here. Okay, I think that's far enough. We stop there. Now we grab you. And you're gonna go to the final gate. You're gonna rest on top of this guy. We're gonna reset you. You're gonna take from the source and send to the power. Okay, we're almost there. Why aren't you working? Not far enough forward. Damn it. 
It's got to get almost all the way there. So what's the what's the angle here? It's got to get almost all the way there. All right. Um. Right up before it bounces. We got to do this before it bounces or it'll be going the wrong way. I think that's it. So you're going to go to there and go sit on this guy's head. Okay, that is it. Okay, all right, all right. So as soon as as soon as it's where we want it, we step off the switch. Should start traveling to the right. Okay, there we go. And I think we've done it. We have. All right, there we go. Lost puzzle solved. Let's head out of here. We can maybe squeeze in one more. Excuse me. I was looking at your research log, and I was rather perplexed by the latest upload. Oh, Melville strikes again. Is that your foot, Melville? Yes. Do you want to see it up close? Although you won't be able to fully enjoy it as you don't have a rear camera. <laughs> Sorry, Mayor. Melville just has a unique way of taking pictures. Next time you're getting an upgrade, you coot. I'm installing a mute button. More of Melville's photography, huh? <laughs> These things must be connected to the Noema system. Maybe I should dig one up, see how it works. And there's the foot. All right, so let's take a quick gander around the outside of puzzle five here. Looking for buttons or columns for the star puzzle. Uh, that's not a thing. What's that? That's a lost puzzle. Hmm. Buttons, buttons. Columns, where ye be? I wish to solve the star puzzle, so reveal yourselves to me. And back to rhyming couplets, gang. It's a sign of a sick mind. Somebody help me. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I don't see any buttons or columns here, so let's step inside. This puzzle's called Nuisance. All right. We get to here, and then I guess we power that servitor. And we've got another connector. We go through here. We've got two purple gates. And a red gate to open a fan that sends us somewhere? Okay. Uh, there's like a very narrow window where we could have the light target that. Like right here. So let's do this. Let's move it to where we want it. It's like right around there. Ish. Is that about right? No, we need it a little bit further. That's about it. Okay, so now we can power the fan, and then what? Well, hold on. Oh, when this is open... So we need it to continue moving, because when this is open, the fan is off? Is that what it's telling me? Maybe. I'm not sure about... Oh, that's the source. Okay. Let's keep the connections and add one. So we have a little window to get through here. Oh, but we can't, it's not long enough. So that's, there's the rub. So 
So like if I break it there, that should be long enough to open it. And then it takes it a second for it to power up. So can I sprint over there and through the gate? Oh, almost, but not quite. We can, we can try that one more time. I think we need to be, we need it, we need it to be as far forward as it can be. There's a very narrow window here. It takes it a second to depower after we interrupt the beam too. Wow, why didn't that... Let's see. That's a little too close. It's a little annoying that it takes a second for it to stop. How long does it take? Yeah, like a fraction of a second there. Is that going through? No, not quite. All right. Is that going through? Yes. So can we sprint and make it? No, that is a nuisance. Damn it. Okay. So then what we really need is to stop it at the right location. Like, we need to stop it here. Ah, that's wrong. Hold on. <coughs> we need it in just the right position. Which I guess is, like, maybe there. Let me go check. Yeah, so then we can do something like this. And then we need a way from here to be able to get that moving again. Or interrupt the beam or something. Uh, the problem is, it doesn't stop... It do, if we leave it going on automation, it doesn't go long enough through that gap to actually power the beam. So it's like we need to slow it down or put something that it'll bump into. But... That doesn't work. Um... Because the power's got to come from that one. Like, I can interrupt this here, but only from this side, and then the fan turns on. We need a way to get it moving from here, because we can't sprint from there fast enough. How would that work? I can't bring that through. Well, now, hold on. Do I even... There has to be... Oh, I get it. Hold on, I think I do get it. If it's not, if the source isn't moving, but the interruption is moving, then we're golden, right? So this opens the gate, and then when that thing, when that thing moves, it interrupts the beams. And I think we solve. Come on now. There we go. Very nice. Okay. All right. Very cool. Took me a second to figure out there, but we got it in the end. 
And we've got some new interface content, so let's take a quick peek at that, shall we? Places of Longing, Athens. Athelvok posts a painting, a ruin of a building in Athens with a waterfall. To understand what humanity is capable of, what it means to flourish, we have to look at the golden age of Athenian democracy. The list of geniuses who lived in Athens at this time is so long it's almost inconceivable. Pericles, Sophocles, Aeschylus, Phidias, Euripides, Herodotus, Thucydides, Plato, Socrates, Hippocrates, Aristophanes, Aristotle, and the list goes on. These are people who changed world history. Without them, there is no Stratton of Stagira to inspire Alexander Drennan. Without them, we do not exist. Was it a perfect time? No, undoubtedly not. But listing the flaws obscures the greater truth. Given the opportunity, given freedom and resources and space to grow, human beings are capable of incredible things. It would mean everything to me to walk the roads where these people once walked, to stand where they stood and think about the world as they dared to. I mean, I think that is a true thing to say about humanity. When you remove the competition for resources, when you remove the needs and give people space and time to flourish, they are indeed capable of incredible things. It's just that resources are scarce and competition is fierce. And so many bit people get caught up in just, just trying to fulfill the needs of themselves and their families, just trying to put food on the table and pay the, pay the mortgage that they don't have time to be creative or, or to flourish. And that, I think the, the, those among us who recognize that can be embittered by it to a degree. It's easy, it's easy to give up the hard work of hope. It's easy to drown in irony and cynicism, as was mentioned earlier in the episode. It's hard to fight, not just for survival, but for love and joy and happiness amidst the race for survival. It can be very easy to give in to despair. I don't know how we fix that as a species, but it should be an objective. It should be a priority. Anyway, guys, I'm going to take a break here. When we come back, we'll continue with the remainder of the puzzles in this area. And then we've got two more areas full of puzzles and a visit to the megastructure. And then the Golden Gates. And then I think we're done. Uh, it's been a very interesting journey thus far. The game is living up very much to my expectations. It's full of the same challenge and demand that you think not just in three-dimensional space to solve puzzles, but in emotional space to answer questions about how you feel about the world, about how does what is this philosophy, what are these thinkers provoke in you and i've given you my answers so i'm curious to hear yours leave me some comments about on these you know let me know what you think about some of these texts and philosophies which ones speak to you which ones when i read them you're like wow that really resonates with me i'd love to know anyway that's gonna be it for this time as always thank you so much for your viewership for your participation in my community we'll see you next time take care